What's up guys, Rev here. Now originally when I saw this story, I decided not to make a video on it. And I know I'm a day or two late now, but I changed my mind because in these trying times, I think we could all use something to point and laugh at. So a few days ago, Marvel announced an ambitious new comic book series called New Warriors. As you will see, this is basically what would happen if all the SJWs who criticized the designs of anime characters took a break from searching for new ways to be offended and put together the characters they believed that would be representative, but perhaps the key to achieving world peace. So here's the visionary and writer responsible for this project, Daniel Kibblesmith. He's basically what would happen to a human being after a year of only consuming soy milk and impossible burgers. So now Mr. Kibbles and Bits is going to give us a quick compilation of the series characters. They have to be mentoring new new warriors who are under 21 and uh, subject to the, the laws uh, that triggered the outlawed event. This new law is making it illegal to be a vigilante under the age of 21. The artist on New Warriors number one is Luciano Vecchio. He designed all of the new New Warriors and gave them costumes that felt as modern as the New Warriors costumes to sort of feel classic and instantly familiar. Hey, I heard Zoomers like bright colors. This literally looks like the thumbnail of a Fortnite V-Bucks scam video. So the first character that we're introduced to is Trailblazer. <laughs> oh, oh no. She's a group home and foster kid who is volunteering at a uh, senior center when this mysterious threat shows up and Night Thrasher runs to the rescue. And because she helps him, she ends up uh, in the crosshairs with this new outlawed law. And she inherited from her grandfather a uh, magic backpack. Wow, did you guys hear that? A magic backpack. I wonder what's in it. Is it a Supreme hoodie in her mixtape? This character is basically Dora the Explorer if she was kidnapped and slowly brainwashed for years by a group of Twitter warriors. Of divine origin. We picked the name Trailblazer because she's somebody who charges into action. She knows that she can do some good with this you know, mysterious gift that she's been given. In real life, that mysterious gift is thinking her opinion is the only acceptable one. Screen time is a internet kid taken to its sort of logical conclusion. As a youth, he was exposed to his grandfather's experimental internet gas, and that has patched him permanently into the World Wide Web. So basically anyone born in the last two decades? The word screen time is only ever used in a sort of restrictive sense. And because we're doing a story about teenage rebels, uh, a lot of the names are about teens uh, fighting against labels that are put on them. So with screen time, we liked the idea that he has infinite screen time. Snowflake and Safe Space are the twins. Two flashy attention seekers with brightly colored hair named Snowflake and Safe Space. The joke writes itself, ladies and gentlemen. True story, I had an idea for a video where I was going to create the perfect SJW safe anime character. And I have to hand it to Kibbles here. His design is a far better meme than anything I was going to come up with. And their names are very similar to screen time. It's this idea that these are terms that get thrown around on the internet that they don't see as uh, derogatory to take those words and kind of wear them as badges of honor. Safe Space is kind of a big, burly, sort of stereotypical jock. Where? Where are you from where that looks like a jock? What sport does he play? Competitive outrage posting? He can create force fields, but he can only trigger them if he's protecting somebody else. Ah yes, an SJW character activating his powers only when defending others, even when they don't want him to. Snowflake is non-binary and goes by they, them. Yeah, sure, why not? Snowflake has the power to generate individual crystallized snowflake-shaped shurikens. The connotations of the word snowflake in our culture right now are something fragile. And uh, this is a character who is uh, turning it into something sharp. E negative is the goth kid. He got a rogue life-saving blood transfusion, we assume from Michael Morbius. And now he has a very similar look and very similar vampire powers. Mmm, yeah, look at that e-boy, everyone. Oh god, I wonder what his TikTok handle is. B negative also is obviously a pun. It's a blood type, uh, which is great for a vampire character. And it's also a proud ownership of the idea of having a bad attitude. You hear that, ladies? This boy has a bad attitude. Hope you got a clean pair of panties nearby. I want the people who read Our New Warriors to feel all of the excitement that they felt uh, if they read the 90s one. We want it to have big colorful characters, personality clashes, uh, romance. 
a diverse cast, which is something that the New Warriors titles have always strived to make a priority. Every New Warriors comic has always felt like a reflection of the, the year that it came out. You know, I'll give it to him here. This is a pretty good representation of 2020. This is pretty much all of the loud, obnoxious people I see yeeting out bad takes on social media for attention. Like, guys, honestly, I'm not even sure if this is real or not. Like, are we being masterfully trolled right now? Like, was the whole point of this was to be as bad of a meme as possible to generate attention? I'm not sure right now. But what I do know is, I'm going to pre-order this entire comic book series. Because, you know, toilet paper is in short supply right now. That's about it. I'll see you guys next time.